hey what's going on everybody welcome back to the channel here at crypto nation hey, if you new here it's totally free subscribe and hit the like button for post notifications um anyways um uh let's get right on to it so this is a subscriber request that uh, they asked me a couple of times to um to cover this uh project uh but first let's get started by um let me see here okay we gotta go back here uh Okay, so we got Bitcoin at 63,000 63, and um, Ethereum is over, uh, still trying, still holding at 2,000, you know, 600, uh, almost six, you know, 600 and a half. Um, but yeah, let's see what happens. Um, there's been a little bit of rumors that Bitcoin is going to crash back down to like 60K, but you know, let's just see what happens. It could just be us, you know, people to try to, you know, scare people. You know out of their play or whatever but you know just gotta you know wait and see this market is unpredictable uh but anyways let's um get right on to it by the way hey if you'd like to support the channel just get the um uh channel uh membership that'll be a good way to support the channel i'm not like one of these other crypto content creators charging like you know 50 to 500 dollars for a discord patreon uh you know they, you know they're doing their pump and dump schemes in our discord uh, you know, then on top of that, they're charging like between 50 to $500 for a Patreon Discord. But hey, if that's what you guys like doing, hey, go for it. Go ahead and, you know, flush all your money down the toilet. Uh, but anyways, let's get right on to it. Um, so I wanted to do an update on, well, this is the first time I covered this coin. It's called uh, Green uh, Green Satoshi Token or Soul GST. Apparently, there's two of them. Um uh, but I guess this one is on Seoul. But right here it says Green Satoshi Token BSC is set up to track the price on BSC due to price uh, discrepancy between BSC and Solana Green Satoshi Token. So kind of don't know what that means. I guess they're saying that um, the price is there's a, a price discrepancy or something like that. So they're tracking it on BSC, not Solana. I guess that's what they're saying. I'm not 100 percent, you know, familiar with what's going on with that, but I can't cover the, you know, was, you know, the project. Uh, I'm trying to think where to start on this. Um, first of all, let's I'll, I'll just start it like this. Let's start with the tokenomics. Um, OK, let me see here. It shows here the market cap is at 27 million. You know, this is what coin market cap is saying. But, you know, coin gecko is probably going to show a different number. And this is showing that um, it, it's not showing the max supply, but it's showing two billion coins. It's showing just over two billion coins in the total supply, and the circulation supply is about two billion coins. Uh, so, but Coin Gecko shows something kind of different. Uh, Coin Gecko is actually showing. Let me see here. Okay, Coin Gecko is showing 1.5 billion uh, coins. That's what Coin Gecko is showing. 1.5, excuse me, 1.1 billion in circul total supply, and a circulating supply 1.1 billion. So Coin Gecko is showing, showing that the majority, about 98, about 98 to 99 percent of the supply is already in circulation, but there's it doesn't show a max supply, just like Coin Market Cap. And this one, and Coin Gecko is showing a 15 million market cap versus Coin Market Cap is showing a 26 million market cap, but I guess I'm gonna always go with Coin Gecko. I guess Coin Gecko it shows you the the more accurate, uh, you know, tokenomics and market cap. So, um, like I said, so Coin Gecko is showing 15 million market cap, and pretty much all the tokens are in circulation. You know, that's what it's showing here, but it's not showing a max supply, but it's showing a total in um, circulating. But anyways, let's get back to uh, the um, the price of this coin. Uh, right now, this coin is at about just over one cent point zero one three four five is where it's priced at now let's take a look at the all-time chart i always like to look at the all-time charts because this can kind of determine where this is going to go in the future so it looked like back in 2022 this coin was at six dollars it was at it went up to six dollars and like it looked like six dollars and like 60 something cents or something like that let me see here yeah it looked like it went up to six dollars and like 53 cents back in 2022 and the coin was released um and um december 
of 2021. So December 2021, this coin was released. Now the bull run was already the 2021 bull run was already over at that time. This was right before 2022. So this this coin was released pretty much kind of like at the begin of the, the beginning of our long bear market. But then it pumped when it came out, it was at a dollar thirty-two. And then it went up to six dollars. It went over six dollars. And so May, May of 2022, this coin went up, went over six dollars. Then after that, boom, you know, we got hit by the bear market. The coin just literally fell off of a cliff. Um, and it looked like this all-time low was around. Let me see here. Well, the all-time chart. It's down 99.39% for the all-time chart. So this coin really got hammered during the bear market. It really got hammered. Like, what happened there? Um, but then when you see a coin that got hammered like that, you see good opportunity. You know, it could kind of determine where this is going to go in the future. The fact that this is this coin's first bull run. So this coin had an all-time low of about, I'm trying to see here. It traded flat for a long time. What was this all-time low at? with two zeros let me see here okay look like this coin had an all-time low of about two zeros 90 or, or a little bit around 90 a little bit over 90 percent of a penny so this coin did pump, uh dip below a penny uh oh no this all-time low is about 80 something percent of a penny okay point zero zero a four four seven I think that's the lowest this coin got to look like back in October, October of 2025, excuse me, October 25th of 2023, it went all the way down to like 84% of a penny. Then it, um, then it kind of came back up a little bit. Now, mind you, this is the all time chart that I'm looking at. Okay. So it's down over 90, either way, go long story short, it's, it's down big for the all time chart. Take a look at that one year chart. Okay. The one year chart is, is up over 44%. You can see here it was at 93% of a penny or 0.009322. Then it um it went from 93% of a penny all uh, up to like 10 cents, it looked like here. So that's a pretty good run up right there, not bad. And then after that, it, it kind of tanked again. It went all the way back to like five cents, four cents, three cents. All the way back down. It went from 10 cents all the way back down to like a penny. So looking at that one year chart, but it's been trading sideways for a good minute. So that's the one year chart. Take a look at the one month chart. It's up 9% for the one month. It's been trading mostly sideways at about a penny. It looked like, yeah, it's been trading pretty sideways, but I, but I think going forward, um, it'll be hard to say, well, the fact that this has a low market cap, this could definitely, this coin could definitely get up to a billion market cap, which will be about over about a dollar, a little bit over a dollar that'll put it at about a billion market cap. Where you know where the market cap is now, so not financial advice, but this project, this project could possibly possibly be a good, yeah, uh, you know, investment. Um, the fact that it's sitting at one cent, and I, you know, we're getting ready to start our, our parabolic run. Take a look at that seven day chart. We're up just two percent for the seven day. All right, that's enough for the all time price. So this coin is down. It's all time chart is down over ninety nine percent, which means that's you know. That could be a uh, potential for this thing to have a good run up, at least to like a, I'll say, you know, for the parabolic bull run, this coin where it is now, because you know what, you know, like I said, this coin came out at, at the beginning of the bear market, right? So um, where the market cap is right now, I don't see this coin going up to like where it was before, like at like five, six bucks. But I will say this coin could possibly have the potential to go to like a dollar fifty to two dollars. But if I was really just want to be conservative about the price, I could say this coin could possibly hit like 80 cents to a dollar going into the bull run. I give it 80 cents to a dollar if I was just, you know, being more conservative. But like I said, it could go higher from looking at the current market cap of about, you know, 15, 16 million. Now that I go over the um, let's go over what the project is about. OK, so this is a um, I don't, I'm not going to have time to read all this, but, the, you know, make a long story short. This is a uh, Web3. They're tapping into Web3. Um, um like gamification so gaming web3 and nfts put together so yeah uh, that's what it says here it says right here okay the lifestyle app built excuse me app with built-in uh, excuse me built-in fun social elements and gamification design 
um, Steph is the first move to earn NFT game where players earn GST tokens by uh, walking, jogging, and running outdoors while wearing NFT sneakers. Uh, GST tokens can also be used to level up and mint new sneakers. Uh, players can, okay. Okay, the game where players can can earn GSD tokens by walking, jogging, and running outdoors while wearing NFT sneakers. Uh, GSD tokens can also be used to level up and mint new sneakers and players. Players can sell, rent their NFT sneakers on the app marketplace. So, so this is cool. So this is doing like, like play to earn, doing a little bit of game web three. So this has a lot going on. Look like obviously they're gonna be doing metaverse uh, the goal of the project is to encourage the world, uh, world's population to lead a healthy and active lifestyle, as well as a, as to um, acquaint people with the concept of Web3. The STEPN platform is originally powered by the Solana or Sol and uses a dual token mechanism where green Satoshi token GST is the currency in the game and green metaverse token. Um, then it says GMT. Okay, it's the governance token. Okay, so yeah, um, there we have it. Who are the founders? Uh, it says Stefan was established in August 2021 by by FinTech Studio FSL, based in Australia. In September of the same year, the core team was formed, and in October, the project won Solana Ignition um, Hackathon Gaming Track 2021. So it says Jerry Huang is one of the co-founders of the company with 10 years of experience in game development, marketing, and testing prior to um, to, to Stefan Huang also launched several highly rated and downloaded games for iOS App Store. Uh, one more co-founder, Juan Rong, a talented entrepreneur, a crypto investor, and blockchain um, incubator. Uh, Rong has a track record of launching in small startups and building them into national brands. Then it says Jessica Duan holds the position of CSO in the company. Uh, Duan has a qualification in design and architect, or she manages operational strategies, advisors, seniors, clients, and partners, evaluates new technologies, markets, trends, business models, and uh, innovations. But anyways, guys, uh, I originally said I didn't have time to read anything, but I went ahead. But yeah, that's what's going on. This seems like a, a solid project. Like I said, this was a um, subscriber request. But when I see a coin like this that, you know, was down over 99 percent and, and this does have a, a real utility behind it. Oh, another thing I forgot to mention, and this is viable on Coinbase. So, yeah, this is available to purchase on Coinbase, Max, Bybit, KuCoin, BigJ and Coinbase. I like the fact that Coinbase has this listed. Um, honestly, I'm not going to lie to you. I'm thinking about picking up a little bit of this coin just because, um, you know, I think, you know, uh, you know, thanks to my subscriber that. You know that requested for me to, to cover this uh, project. I think that, you know we found ourselves a real winner. You know, like I said, I would have never known about this project had you know I was told about it. And it, I, I believe it's sitting at a very good price at one. Think about it. Well, um, you know, back in 2022 when it went up to like over six dollars. But like I said, I don't see it going that high again where it's at now. But I do believe that this coin can definitely hit about. I'll give it between eighty cents to a dollar fifty. That'll be my price target for this coin. Eighty cents to a dollar fifty uh, for the twenty twenty five bull run. But like I said, none of this is financial advice. I'm just giving you my opinions. But I do believe that this is a good project that's gonna um, that's gonna run up pretty good. Uh, but anyways, yeah, um, uh, that is my take on the green on green Satoshi uh, token. See if I make sure I didn't leave anything out. Like I said, it has pretty decent. Uh, but like I said, going back here, um, I read this. I don't really know what's going on. It said there was a price discrepancy, so I don't know what's going on here. It said that it's following BSC instead of. Um, OK, so I guess they're saying that they're really going by this price, the point zero zero six zero. But Coinbase. I'm not sure where Coinbase has this price test. Okay. But anyways, um, 
because I showed there was two listed. So I'm a little bit confused. Okay, you have a price of 0 0.00 or 60% of a penny, but then you have another one that's at, at one penny. So I don't, you know. Um, but anyways, apparently there's two different coins. One is on BSE, the other one is on Sol, but the one on Sol is on Coinbase. And it says here, for this one, the all-time high was like $23 or something like that. But anyways, um, there we have it. But like I said, I believe that this coin is going to um, um, do very well in the uh, bull run. But I'm just a little bit confused with, with the price, with what's going on right here. Green Satoshi Token BSC is set up to track prices on BSC due to price disc discrepancy between BSC and Solana. A green Satoshi token on Solana can be found here. Okay, that's what it says there. Okay. Uh, but anyways, this is the price that they got up leave on on Coinbase. But yeah, I'm gonna try to do more uh, you know, dive a little bit deeper. But I do believe that this is a solid project. But anyways, um, I hope this was helpful. Thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button for post notifications. Um, also, yeah, get, would like to support the channel, uh, get the channel membership. Uh, that a good way to uh, support the channel. I'm going to be dropping content to the private members, and that is my update on on Green Satoshi Token. So it says here it's ranked 723. So yeah, that's what it says right there. But anyways, hey, I will see you guys in the next one. Um, I'm going to do a Crypto Nation uh, reacts. Um, my next video, so so t t stay tuned for that one. I'm gonna have that one up probably in the next like um, 15 to 20 minutes for my uh, Crypto Nation reacts. Hey, see you guys in the next one. Peace.